One of the techniques discussed in the paper is string bending, which is the application of force to a string to increase its pitch, and it gives it a vocal-like quality. So you can segue quite smoothly from one pitch to another, which, for instance, you couldn't do in a more discreet instrument like a piano, where pitches are distinct. So I'm going to give you an example of bending and a few applications of it now. So one example would be, I'm going to start off on this note here, and I'm going to bend up roughly a tone. So that's an example of what a bend sounds like and the kind of sound it produces. It, it, it's very powerful when you're articulating phrases. For example, this phrase with no bending is very, very different from with bending and a small bit of vibrato at the end. So it can be used to articulate and it can sound very human-like. So you're going out of pitches that you couldn't necessarily strike on some other instruments. The other uh, related technique are pre-bends. And a pre-bend is when you bend up to the note you want it to, to, to resound before you pluck the string. So something like this. So in that case, the kind of note that I wanted to sound was a B, which would normally be the 12th fret. But what I actually struck was the 10th fret and bent it up, so I went... So as you can hear, the actual note, the 10th fret and zone, would sound an A. But the note we did want to sound was a B. So these are techniques that are related to each other. And because, as we discussed in the paper, that the, the angle you extend is not linearly related to the pitch you hear, in fact it, it has more of a curve relationship, this is why a little bit of intuition is also required, that a good guitarist has to know roughly how far to bend a string. And this is why analysing the mechanical properties of strings and the kind of forces you need to apply to them is relevant to a guitarist and might be an interesting example of the physics behind it.